Hello, my fellow YouTubers, YouTubies, YouTubets. You are watching Imperial Nerds, and this is an Imperial head unboxing. I guess I'm going to call it a head unboxing because I got heads for you. Who doesn't love head? So I got heads. First of all, I want to unbox this little thing here that I just got from Big Bad Toy Store. This is a half scale endo skull from the Terminator Genesis. This is a exclusive San Diego Comic Con from San Diego Comic Con. And uh, yeah, I saw this online. I say, yo, that looks pretty cool. Let me order it. So I paid 30 bucks for this. And I have to say, I'm pretty disappointed. I did actually already open it. There's not much. All you got to do is just unflap it. So I'm going to unflap it right now real quick and show you what it looks like and tell you why I'm disappointed in it. And that's pretty much that sit there. Throw that over there. And this is the skull right here. And you might be saying, but hey, that looks pretty cool. But yeah, all right. It does look pretty cool. You see it has some detail there from the inside on the bottom pretty much has nothing there should at least have something here at least to represent where the spine cord where the spinal cord will go or, or something like that I have no idea what the hell this is here for a second I thought this was some kind of piggy bank or something I'm like what the heck is that but here goes the side of it I mean it looks when you look at it you're saying you're probably saying it looks pretty cool though the front of it the other side, the back, the top. And the reason why I, I don't like it is because this thing feels like it weighs uh, one ounce. It's so light and feels so cheap. Like you could probably even you could see a squeeze it. Look, it's hollow. If you ever been to the dollar store on Halloween and you've seen those skulls they have on Halloween, for a dollar then you when you pick those skulls up and they look awesome you're like oh that's a cool looking skull and you pick it up i'm like wow this thing feels like trash well that's the case with this this thing looks cool but when you pick it up man it, if it has no weight to it it's hollow it feels so cheap for 30 bucks man i definitely got 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 with this one you know, it'll still go on display, I guess, looking all pretty or whatever. But, man, for 30 bucks, I would have liked to be a little bit heavier, a little thicker. You know what I mean? Better better, better quality. But it's all right. Whatever, I guess. You know, you make money, you lose money. And that's that's one of the problems. What hap happens when you order online, you don't know what it is until you get it. Actually, you can't feel it. And, I, you know, people say, send it back. I like I, I hate sending stuff back. I got to go to the post office. I, oh, it's too much work. I might just keep it. But anyway, this is the uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Terminator Genesis Endoskull. And now I want to show you guys some more head. You guys like head, don't you? Let's get this out of the way so I can show you some heads. So, I've been collecting heads in cinema. Cinema heads. That's what I call them cinema heads. And I'll show you guys what, what I mean by cinema heads. These. As you guys see, this uh, is something I started collecting recently. I've been wanting to have all the heads. And I'm, I'm short a few, but so far i got a nice stack of heads. Uh, and I'll share with you guys in a second. Uh, I opened some of these. Some of these I've bought you. Some of these I've bought brand new. I couldn't find my precious today, so I have her cousin here. Uh, I guess drag war. I'll call it drag war. And uh, when I first bought my first one, I, I think I bought the first one I bought was Iron Man. And I was like, yo, these things are so cool. I want to collect as many heads as possible. So I've been buying heads. And I, I know I'm missing a few. Uh, there might be more that I'm I'm missing, but so far uh, I got a nice, I got a few nice ones. So this is the uh, Terminator Salvation uh, head. I'm gonna call them heads. And here you go. Here you go the disc here. This is a Blu-ray director's cut Terminator Salvation. 
and this is the theatrical uh the <laughs> I just said that totally wrong. Theatrical version and the special features, Terminator Salvation. Pretty cool disc card. I like the disc card on this one. They, these almost look from, like they're brothers. Look. But pretty cool uh, disc set. And as you can see, this is a cool head. You have a little cool... Uh, you know, detail everywhere. Even the eyes look pretty pretty nicely detailed. The forehead. So this is head one. Uh, if you guys want any information on these heads, you could definitely always message me. I'm not going to tell you everything on all of them because I'll be here forever. But some of the details says here, uh, picture in picture, storyboard, comparisons, Terminator mythology timeline. Special features, the Moto Terminator discover the unique collaboration between the filmmaker and Ducati, uh, reforging the future, uh, BD exclusive. I have some codes here. Are they used? I don't know. I did buy this one used, so, oh, it also comes with a nice little disc here. It says bonus digital copy. Oh, look at that. Pretty cool. A uh, bonus digital copy, theatrical version. So a nice little bonus disc there. Oh, it says for Windows. This is a. Uh, it says digital copy Windows theatrical trailer for Windows based PC and Mac. And there's a digital code here. I don't know if it works. I don't know if it's been redeemed. But if you want to try it, there you go. That's the code there. Hopefully it works. If someone actually gets this. Definitely uh, let me know if you got it so I can know if it worked or not. I, like I said, I will be giving away all my digital codes for movies. So definitely uh, subscribe to this channel if you want some freebie digital codes. I uh, will have lots of them. All right, the next head that I got here is a Batman. This is from the Dark Knight. Uh, two disc Blu-ray limited edition head. So let's open this head up. Uh, this one, I think this one's brand new. Will the code work? I have no idea, but we'll see in a second once I bring this bad boy out. Throw all that stuff back there. Get rid of that. And here goes the Batman mask. Pretty dusty for being new. So this one, I actually got this one from, from Amazon for like 10 bucks. I think this one's on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Here goes the back of it. You see a nice little uh, bat signal there. And here goes the disc, the Dark Knight. And special features disc. And it's a pretty simple head compared to the Terminator one that has a lot of detail. This one just pretty much like the Batman mask. Not bad though. It still looks pretty cool. And let's see what's in this little pouch here. Here goes another disc. And the digital codes, important, blah, 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 Blu-ray. A little Time Warner information there. And then, of course, the uh, digital copy DVD, The Dark Knight. And here, the digital copy code. This one is uh, valid because this is a brand new DVD that I bought from Amazon. I'm just looking at the offer expires December 2009. So I guess it's expired. But you can never... It doesn't hurt to try. So there goes the code if you want to try. Sometimes some of these expired codes still work. I used to try these all the time when I used to get them for free from different locations. Uh, and I used to get some expired codes that still work. So definitely try it out if you want it. You know, it's just going to take a second for you to try it out if it's good or if it's not. And it doesn't hurt to try. All right. The next one that I have here is another head, of course. This one is the Watchmen Director's Cut. Les Gardins Montage da Gurutskut, whatever that says. This is actually a pretty big head. Look at that. Compared to Batman, compared to the Terminator, 
the Terminator is a little bit bigger. I mean, uh, bigger than Batman, but it's still smaller than the Watchmen head. So let's get into this one. This one I also bought bought used. So this one, uh, the cold chip had to be expired for sure, even if it did work. All right. And here goes the Watchmen head. As compared to the, oh, they're probably about the same size when you put them side by side like this. The Watchmen is a tiny bit bigger. But as you can see, pretty cool. I am I am missing a head that is uh, from Watchmen also. I think uh, Ro, I forget his name, but the, the guy with the mask, his, his head is available on DVD also. So that's one of the heads that I am missing. Another Watchmen head. And I think there's also a head from uh, Bumblebee from the Transformers. He has a, a head uh, DVD set. Here goes the back of it. And the discs. Director's Cut. Director's Cut Special Features. So pretty nice one. I actually like this one. Uh, when I first saw this movie, I was like, whoa! When he became uh, gigantic and then he had his wanker just dingling and hanging down like that. I'm like, whoa, blue wiener, blue wiener. That scared me, man. I've never seen a blue wiener. I've never seen that many wieners, period. Uh, this code says he expires on 2010. You never know. You never know. It doesn't hurt to try, right? Takes a few seconds to try. You might get lucky. You might not get lucky. Who knows? And here goes the extra disc here for uh, the Watchmen digital copy. And if I'm correct, I think this is how my regular DVD looks like. I think this uh, graphics here, it looks very similar to the one I have on regular DVD. And the case has some little graphics there. All right, the next head I have is a horror head. Burn. Though this one's a little bit different than those, uh, I still consider it a cinema head. It's a head. But it's not like these other ones where you open the back of it. It's more like a plain uh, cover. As you can see. It's still pretty cool though. I mean, it's still a head. It's just uh, different. You can see it's just a, a sleeve. But how cool is that though? And this is the Saw trilogy. And the Saw, Saw is one of my favorite movies of all time, man. I, I love Saw. Uh, disc one, disc two. Uh, Saw three. Saw three. And then in between, Saw two and Saw two. And funny, when I first saw this one, I thought it was french fries, cheese fries. It made me hungry. Like, what is that, cheese fries? What is that? And there's a bunch, a bunch of uh, needles, which I hate needles. Oh, yeah. That's definitely not French fries. So, yeah, not technically the same as the other ones, but it's still a pretty cool head to have in the collection. Isn't it? That's a pretty cool looking head. I had to add that one. All right, the next head was actually my first head, and this one again was from Amazon. I think it's all, still like 10 bucks, so you can still get this one for like 10 bucks. This one, as you can see, I did purchase brand new. Let's get up in this one, Iron Man. Nice little Iron Man there. Pretty cool graphics there the back special features iron man experience disc one feature film deleted and extended scenes disc two i am iron man seven part making of the documentary the invisible iron man six part history of the hero wired the visual effects of iron man robert downey jr test the actor's process still graphics at galleries and more there you go and here goes the head Pretty nice. I mean, it's pretty simple as compared again to the Terminator, uh, but it looks like Iron Man. So I guess that's, I mean, what can you do to it to make it better? 
The back is pretty plain, a little Marvel logo there. I guess you open it down here, maybe not. How the heck do you open this one? Ah, I am totally, must be on the top. Oh, there we go, it's a little different. This one opens through the top. And there you go, pretty boring uh, disc. Disc two special features. Disc one, ah, this sucks. I hate, I hate discs that don't have cool graphics. It's only just, you know, come on guys, make it look nice. But the two discs, there you go there, actually opens up pretty cool like his mask would. So I guess that's why they did it this way. Pretty cool head. All right, it, it, nothing else came in that box. Hmm, no uh, digital copies or nothing. All right, the last head that I got also brand new is from uh, Harry Potter. This is uh, Harry Potter and the uh, Half-Blood Prince. Uh, be the first to see footage from Harry Potter. Best Buy exclusive. I think I got this one brand new through uh, Amazon. It says Best Buy there, but I think I got it through Amazon, if I'm correct. Yeah, I got it on Amazon for like 10, 12 bucks. Yeah, this one's still for like 10, 12 bucks. And the back, it says here, uh, the features, uh, man, those are tiny. Additional scenes, uh, documentaries, uh, get the sneak peeks, and more. So, yeah, there you go. All right, let's crack into this one. Let's crack into this one. This one does have a digital code, and it's brand new, so if it's not expired, it should work. Let's see when it expires. And here you go. All the extras. The, see here the castle. Pretty nice little box graphics there. All right, here goes the digital code. And it expires on 2010. But like I said, you know, doesn't hurt to try. I've had movies expire on me and the code still worked. So it doesn't hurt to try at all. If you can even see that, I can't even see it on my screen. There you go. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, then sorry. But I do have some new digital codes coming. So like I said, definitely subscribe to my channel. And uh, you would see uh, more codes coming. Yeah, look at that. It came. Uh, is it broken? Oh, that sucks. It's broken. It broke right there. Look, guys. So it doesn't hold on to the, uh, the other discs. That blows. But anyway, here goes the disc here, the, the, the head. This is one of the nicest ones. I like this one. This one's really nice. You see the detail, actually, you can feel the detail on the mask. Then the hood makes it look really creepy-ish. Uh, here goes the back of it. Harry Potter. It's Harry Potter. And then, of course, the disc. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, disc one. And then uh, Harry Potter, uh, disc two, special features. So yeah, that sucks that it's broken, but I guess I could put a little uh, something there to hold it in place. I'll figure it out, but pretty nice head. Probably my favorite one, and then probably the Terminator one is pretty awesome too. So yeah, now let me clean this mess up and show you guys all of them side by side. All right, guys, so these are it. This is it right here. This is my collection of cinema heads, as I call them. Uh, so far, I have Batman. I think that's Mr. Manhattan or Dr. Manhattan. Uh, Terminator Genesis, Iron Man, and one of the bad guys from uh, Harry Potter. And a kind of head from Saw. So far uh, that I know of, I'm missing a head from Bumblebee for a Termi uh, Transformers movie. And I'm missing a uh, another Watchmen head. It's named uh, Roche, Ro something like that. That's what I, I forgot his name. 
But here goes the heads. So if you know of any other heads like this that are available and uh, I don't have yet, definitely comment below. I, I really am having a hard time figuring out what, what are these called, you know, what kind of packaging this is because it's not a box set. I mean, I know it's limited edition, but it's hard for me to search through thousands of limited edition movies. I'm trying to find out how many other heads are out there because I'm trying to have the entire collection of heads of uh, what I call cinema heads. So yeah, if you know any more that are out there, definitely comment below. Let me know uh, if you have a link to one that you might have a picture of on eBay or maybe Google. Definitely share that link because I'm trying to find the whole collection of cinema heads. And uh, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching this quick little cinema head unboxing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I will be having lots of unboxings for uh, new content that's coming. Uh, and also check out my uh, fan page on on Facebook. I have a lot of cool pre-orders that are available right now. You can pre-order the Walking Dead limited edition box set with a zombie on top. You could pre-order uh, the Marvel collection, just like the old big one with the briefcase. They got a big set coming out. It's up there on the on the on the fan page. Uh, there's also Jurassic Park limited edition with two big dinosaurs about to fight. So there's also, I mean, there's also a lot of information there for red box codes. Any cool information I find on toys, cinema, uh, definitely go follow there on Facebook, Imperial Nerds. The links are below. And uh, the website should be going live this uh, month. This month should be going live. I will have some digital codes to give out. Maybe I'll do a little giveaway uh, for the few people that are already following me here on uh, YouTube. I'll do a special giveaway, maybe for a movie or a book or something. And uh, yeah, so definitely subscribe and follow me on my fan page and check out the website coming soon. There's going to be a lot of information, a lot of content. And join the Imperial Army, guys. Boom, boom. Share with your friends. Let them know. Come here. Join. Follow. Bye-bye, guys. Adios. Cinema heads.